What's up guys, this is Steve for Android at Night and today I'm going to be showing you how you can speed up your Android phone. This will be especially helpful if you've got a phone that's a little bit older, so if your phone is one or two years old, for example something like a Nexus 5, these will be some pretty good tips I think to help speed them up. But the first tip on this list is going to be replacing your home screen. So if you get an LG phone or Samsung or HTC or pretty much any other OEM at the moment, unless you're buying a Nexus phone, Often these are a little bit ugly, they slow your phone down a bit and they're generally not particularly useful. So to speed your phone up, I would recommend you go to the link in the description and you download Nova Launcher. What this will do is allow you to make your phone look a lot closer to stock. The other option is of course to download the stock Google Now Launcher. However, I'd recommend Nova Launcher for older phones. I think it's a little bit slicker, a um, little bit quicker and it's also very customizable. Next up, we're going to change the animations when you change applications. To do this, you need to unlock developer options and to do that, you want to go to about phone, you want to scroll down to where it says build number and you want to tap it six times I think and as you can see I'm already a developer. This will then reveal the developer options in your settings. You want to scroll down to where it says transition animation scale, you want to open it up and as you can see I've got it set to 0.5. This is very very quick, it makes the whole thing feel a little bit snappier. Next up, if your phone isn't a Nexus there's a good chance you're going to have some apps that come pre-installed that you cannot uninstall. So for example if I scroll down on my LG G4 you can see there's an app called LG Health Agent and if I tap it, you can't actually uninstall it, you can stop it updating. But if you go just below it, what you can do is disable it. And this will effectively freeze the app. As you can see, this is as good as uninstalling. It'll mean the app isn't running in the background and it should speed up your phone. Next is something really simple. Just make sure that your phone is actually updated to the most recent version of Android that it can run. So on my Nexus 5, you can see I've got a notification telling me there's a 6.0.1 update for my phone. If you want to check to see if your phone has an update, you can go into your settings, scroll down to the bottom, go to about phone, and there should be a system updates option that you can check. Next up is a tip for your home screen. Now widgets are very, very useful. They bring lots of information sort of in one tap and one glance, but they do tend to slow down your phone, especially if your phone is a little older. So if your phone is feeling a bit sluggish, just take off some of the widgets on your home screen, um, see if you can get it down to one or two, and you should feel an improvement in the speed of your phone. And the next one is kind of in a similar vein, and this is just going through your phone and uninstalling all the applications that you don't use. This is my Nexus 5 that I use for sort of messing around and stuff. I don't use it as my daily phone, so I've got a lot of stuff installed on here that I very, very rarely use. However, if this was my daily driver, I can make it a little bit quicker by just uninstalling um, the apps I don't use and freeing up some more resources. Next up, you can use a cleaner app like Avast, or there's another one called The Cleaner by Liquidium. Now, what these will do is get rid of the residual files on your SD card. So when you install apps, you get little bits and pieces like thumbnails saved, and this will just get rid of all those things that your phone doesn't actually need. Now, this is different from a RAM cleaner. A lot of apps nowadays have RAM cleaners built in, and the way that Android actually handles memory, RAM cleaners don't do it any favors. Um, there's no point using them, but using a cleaner like this We'll just get rid of the residual files on your SD card. And as you guys probably know, when your SD card starts to run out of space, your phone starts to get sluggish, things won't install, um, and this will just make sure everything's a little bit smoother. And of course, the final option is to root your phone. Now, especially if you've got a slightly older device that is no longer supported, you can root your phone, go to somewhere like xjdevelopers.com, and there'll be a link in the description. You can find guides to root your specific phone, and you can see if there's any custom ROMs that you can install. These custom ROMs are often a lot quicker than the OEM ROMs and you can use them to get something closer to a Nexus experience on your phone and generally that will mean it's a little bit quicker. And if you're rooted and you know what you're doing, you can install a custom kernel and this will allow you to underclock or overclock the CPU, which will allow you to make your phone either have more battery life or feel quicker. So there you are guys, those quick tips on how you can make your Android phone a little bit speedier. Let me know in the comments below if there's any tips for speeding up your phone. Please subscribe if you haven't seen me before. Go ahead and click the like button if this has been useful. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.